Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this video is going to be all about GFX and how you make them, but before we get into that, join my Discord server and become part of this growing community. Also, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to import your characters. So I'm going to go to plugins, load character. I'll leave the plugin link in the description so you can download it as well. Find whatever character you want to use. I'm going to use my character and make sure you spawn R6 or else the textures don't load into Blender properly. So I'm going to spawn two of these, one for the clothes and one for the hats. Now I'm going to firstly export the textures for the clothing. So I'm going to select this character and you want to make sure to remove all the hats or else it messes with the texture. Now my head's disappeared because I, ha I have um, headless on. So if I go to my head, if I remove the, the mesh you can see my head reappears. So uh, make sure you don't remove the mesh though. It's just because I wanted to show you guys that I actually have a head. And then I'm going to file, export selection, save it wherever you want. I'm going to name it clothes because it's a texture for clothes. And I'm going to repeat a similar step for the hats. Now for the hats, uh, the first thing you want to do is click on your character and then remove the humanoid. Now your, your character is going to go weird but that's fine. And your hats are going to disappear but don't worry about that. Um, select all your hats in your character, right click, export selection, and then name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it hats. Now now that's all the export in uh, complete, so now you go into Blender. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you're in Blender is remove the starter things, the camera, the lighting, and the cube by selecting them, or you can just press A, and then press delete. And now you want to download a file that's going to be on the top of the description. And then once you've downloaded it, put it in your desktop or whatever you want to put it. And you want to go to file, append, and then you want to find your the file you just downloaded. So it's this for me. You want to click append. Actually, no, you don't want to click append yet. You want to click into it. Go to object and then select all of the, the these are basically the the rig for the the character so you can animate his arms and stuff and then you click append and now you have a character in here now this character is not going to have any textures on him yet so to add that you want to click on his head and make sure you click on his head and then go into shading and then zoom into here and you want to click this little folder icon and find your texture so i i saved mine on my desktop Sometimes it's going to appear as like a, a bunch of them. Just click through all of them and figure out which one's your texture. So this one's my clothing texture. So it applies it on here. Now the next thing you want to do is import your hats. So I'm going to go file, import, obj, and then go to my desktop. And I'm going to find hats. Now it's going to probably spawn them miles away. So you want to click object, set origin origin to 3d cursor so it will set the origin to this little circle here and then object set origin geometry to origin so it will just uh, bring it over here and now you just want to move it into place like so and now you basically have your character imported okay now that you've got your hats and your textures imported you want to pose your character so to do that you want to click one of these invisible boxes click object mode and then go into pose mode now you're going to be able to adjust the bones of your character here so as you can see if you move the lower torso it will adjust the rest of the body but one thing to bear in mind is I'm not sure how you if you can do this but you, your hats don't attach to your bone rig so you want to pose your character first and then probably move your hats in place for the sake of this video I'm just going to leave his head alone so I'm going to give him a standard pose here I'm just going to make some basic adjustments, but you can also move like his bones and they won't stretch out too far. So if you bring them out here, it's just going to stretch as much as it can. But if you bring it close, it will bend. So this is going to be my pose for now. And the next thing you want to do is you want to render it basically out this little, this character here. So to do that, we want to add a camera and some lighting. Okay, so to add your camera and lighting, you want to click add and then where's the camera camera here and then you basically you want to bring this out and make it cover your character there is a little trick to make yeah, better angles and stuff 
if you press N and then go to view and then camera to view tick that and then if you go to view and then cameras and then active camera so this is basically what's going to render out so if you want to get like a unique angle or something it's a lot easier to get using this method so I'm gonna get this angle here and now to get out of this camera view you want to click view cameras and then active camera again so now that's going to get that view now the next thing you want to do is add the lighting so I'm going to go ahead and add light and then I'm going to add a sun now to see what your lighting actually looks like you want to hold Z and then go to rendered so you can see the sun kind of pops out the back here and then you can add a different amount of uh, lights just to add extra lighting if you already know where your sun is going to come from and certain lighting you can pre-do that or you can create a scene here and then work out the lighting through that if you want to adjust your lighting settings you will click on this little light bulb here increase the power and now you have your light pointing at your character now once you've done that you want to adjust your your uh, export settings or your render settings so I usually use uh, the render engine cycles you can use Eevee if you want but cycles tends to get more um, detail um, depending on how good your graphics card is you can adjust the whether you it renders through your graphics card or your CPU and then basically what you want to do, if you if you're exporting your character like this you want to go to film and then click transparent so basically when you render this image out it's going to be transparent rather than have this gray background okay so the next step is to export this image out now depending on how much detail you want you can adjust the render here so if I want to go uh, double the amount of uh, frames and stuff it renders so if I hold Z and go into rendered mode this is how your render will look and then you can click render render image and now it will slowly begin to render the image that's inside the camera now this might take some time depending on how much you've adjusted your settings so I'm gonna skip through this real quick now this is my final render for my character right now so you can see the background is transparent and everything because we changed the settings um, to export this you want to go image save as and then save it as whatever you want now I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this part because people obviously have limitations of software I'm currently using Photoshop so the first thing you want to do is add your rig that you've just exported so I'm gonna drag it from my desktop in and now as you can see I've got my rig here now obviously it makes more sense if you render um, an actual scene in blender because then your character actually fits in there and the lighting kind of is impacted into the uh, the background as well but for the sake of this video I'm going to get a background image off uh, Google so I'm going to drag it in real quick and now it doesn't matter if it's stretched out because a cool little trick you can do is you can bring it in the background and then click filter blur and then Gaussian blur and then put it at like six points or eight points here depending on how blurry you want it and now you can basically just work however you want you can add um, effects and stuff like that depending on how good you are with Photoshop um, if you go to layer and then go layer style blending options you can add all these cool little um, outer glows uh, you know outlines and all that kind of stuff but obviously it depends on how much um, experience you have in the software but that's about it for this video so I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to subscribe to my channel join the discord server and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.